Hello, my name is Tamara, and I would like to share with you how I create one of my snowman ornaments using creative paper clay. Here is a list of materials that you're going to need to create the snowman ornament. Creative paper clay air dry modeling material, foam core board, an X-Acto knife, wire and wire cutter, some masking tape, a wooden skewer or toothpick, craft glue, gesso, not necessary, but I like using it to prep the surface for painting. Acrylic paints. I used white, black, orange, light blue, light pink, and medium brown for antiquing. Various sculpting tools, various paint brushes, a damp rag for antiquing, small bowl of water for smoothing the clay, some glitter for a little bit of sparkle, and a spray matte sealer. The first thing you'll want to do is draw out the shape of your ornament and then carefully cut it out with your X-Acto knife. I usually make several ornaments at a time, so I'll draw and cut out about five this time. Next, you'll need to cut your skewer or toothpick. You'll be using this as a support for the carrot nose, so the length you want to cut it is just a tad shorter than the nose. I cut mine about a quarter of an inch. Mark where you want your snowman's nose on your cutout. Don't worry about being exactly centered unless that's where you want it. A little off center, higher or lower, actually adds character to your snowman. Take your pencil and poke a hole for your skewer. You don't have to poke it all the way through. Now put a little dab of glue into the hole you made and insert your little skewer bit. Let that set for about 15 minutes to give the glue a chance to dry a bit. Time to make your hanger. Cut a piece of wire about two inches long and then bend it in half. I bent my wire over one of my sculpting tools so I would have a nice curve. You will then bend up the two cut ends to form little hooks. It should look like this when you're done. Now attach the hanger to your ornament by poking the two wire ends into the ornament and pushing them upwards to hook the foam core. This will give you a hanger that won't slip out of your ornament. Put a small piece of masking tape over the wire for a little more hold. The first thing you'll do with your paper clay is make the front and back of your ornament. You'll need to make two clay balls that are going to be rolled out about an eighth of an inch thick. The ones in the photo are about one and a half inches wide, but how much you need depends on the size of your ornament. When I roll out my clay, I like to use two skewers as guides so that my clay rolls out evenly. After you roll out your clay, you'll want to apply glue to one side of your ornament. This will help your clay stick while it's drying. You don't need much, just enough to cover the surface, so squeeze a little bit and spread it with your finger. Now press one of your rolled out clay circles to the glued surface and begin smoothing the clay over the edge, removing any extra clay. Repeat this for the other side of your ornament. Smooth out your seams along the edge, but not so much that the clay becomes too thin there. Also remember that these are snowmen. They are supposed to be made of snow, and snow is not smooth. It's okay to have little bumps and dips and textures on the surface. In fact, those bumps and dips and things will look wonderful when you antique your ornament later. Time to give this fellow a nose. This time, make a small ball of clay and then shape that into a carrot or cone. Next, add a little glue to the wood skewer and then push your clay cone down onto the skewer. Reshape the clay to make it look like a carrot. You now want to make all those little creases and lines that are on a carrot, so use a tool with a thin edge and gently push in your lines all over the carrot nose. You can use a sewing needle, a piece of wire, kitchen knife, whatever you have handy as a tool to do this with. No need to have straight lines here either, so have fun smushing the clay around to get the look you like. Time to add a face. I like working on the mouth first, so that's what we'll do now. Make a little clay snake like so. Dip that little snake in your water. This will help it to stick, and then place it on your ornament in the shape you want the mouth. Now smooth the edges of the mouth onto the surface of your ornament, shaping the mouth as you go along. Smooth all around the mouth to blend it in. Now make two balls for his cheeks. Again, dip in water and then gently smush them close to the end of his mouth. Smooth the cheeks out like you did with the mouth. You can shape a grin line where the mouth and cheek meet just by pressing in and up a little bit on the cheek. Okay, let's add the rest of his face. Do this the same way you did his mouth and cheeks. For the chin, just add a little ball that you smushed in place. Use a pencil to make the dimple. A pair of eyes, which is just two balls, smushed and smoothed out. 
little bags under the eyes, two snakes that you've smoothed out, add some nice eyebrows, a little bit of snow on his nose. I added a dab of glue to the top of his nose before adding the clay to make it stick a bit more. You now need to let your ornament completely dry before you paint it, so just go hang him up somewhere and let him dry for a day or two. After your ornament has completely dried, you can paint it. I like to give my work a coat of acrylic gesso before painting. You don't really need to do this, but I feel it seals the piece and it preps the surface for the paint. Once the gesso dries, paint your ornament with white acrylic paint. Make sure to cover both the front and back with the white. Next, paint the carrot nose with orange. Cheeks and lips get a wash of light pink. I thin the paint with water to give it a more watercolor look. Now you'll paint the eyes. I painted mine blue, but you can choose any color that you like. I paint the outer edge of the iris a darker shade than the main part. I just added a little black to my color to darken it a few shades. Fill in the iris with the lighter shade of your eye color. Let this completely dry and then paint the pupils black. Now let all of your paint dry, the next step will be antiquing and you want your base coats completely dry before you antique. Now comes the really messy part. Be brave here, you're going to think you're ruining your ornament, but don't worry, it'll turn out fantastic. If your brown paint is thick, you'll want to thin it down a little. The paint needs to be sloppy and juicy, but not watery. Start painting small areas and then wipe with a damp cloth to remove most of the paint. What you're trying to do here is get the brown down into all those dents and cracks, but wiping most of it off of the surface. I bet right now you're thinking, oh my god, I ruined it. Don't worry, it has to go through the uglies to get to the pretties. What you'll do now is dry brush all your surfaces with their base coat colors, white over white, pink over pink, and so on. Don't know how to dry brush? Using a flat brush, load it with your paint, and then on a paper towel, wipe your brush till it has just a bit of paint on it. Then gently brush across the surface of your ornament with your dry brush. This will lay the paint down on all the raised parts and leave the brown in all the dents and cracks. Keep dry brushing until you're happy with the colors. If you'd like a little sparkle, you can add some glitter to your ornament. I added mine to the snow on his nose, but you can put yours anywhere that you'd like. Just dab on a little glue and then sprinkle on your glitter. Press lightly with your finger to make sure the glitter is stuck in the glue. Now let it all dry. Once everything's dry, spray the entire ornament with an acrylic matte sealer. I usually spray two or three coats on. 